everyone and greetings from the rectory garden. Are you? Yes. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our video last week about spatial awareness. I, you may not have, I, I may not have mentioned that. No. But it was about alone time. It was about having time on your own. And that, that's a really important thing, isn't it, Copperpot? Yeah. We're, we, we have Marmalade the Hen with us this morning. So we're, yeah. Um, we're challenged yet again in the rectory garden. That's okay. It's fine. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about those we love. Okay. Yes. And that's a nice subject, isn't it? Yeah. And recently, Copper Pot's mother came back from the Amazon. Oh, no. You okay? Yeah. She came back from the Amazon. And... She's got very little English. She's got none. Well, she has some words. Be kind. She has very little English. Oh, dear. And, and she's a bit exuberant. There's a word. Uh, she's very enthusiastic. There's another one. Um, for how much she loves Copper Pot. And she, and she was very demonstrative. There's another word um, of her affection and another one for Copper Pot. In other words, she gave him loads of hugs and kisses and he was driven insane. Insane! Insane, yes, absolutely. She has been over in the pine trees at, at, um, at the parish here for the last long time. Thank God. No, that's not nice to say. Now, you're not to say that about your own mother. He doesn't know her very well. He hasn't seen her for years. Yeah. Sorry, he hasn't seen her for years. Um, anyway, she's been over in the pine trees for the last little while. And, um, well, we're going to try and see, can we call her down today? What? Well, because I want to talk to people about those they love and they can't see at the moment. Yeah. N no, no, you can't be selfish about this. We have to try and see, can we call Copperpot's mum down today? You see, sometimes, in the case of Copperpot and his mother from the Amazon, um, he has no personal space. None. It's lovely to get a mother's hug. No. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is lovely to get a mother's hug. Okay, it is. It is. And you love it as well. But she doesn't really recognise his personal space. Today we wanted to talk to you about people that we love but we can't see, we can't actually be with like Copperpot and I are together today. Um, there are lots of people I know in your lives that you can't see at the moment. I can't see my mother. I know you can't. Hurrah. No, don't say that. You're not supposed to say that about your mother. He doesn't mean it. I don't. It's just that she's very lively. Very. Yes, and she's up in the trees. Anyway, um... I have a little prayer poem to share with you today. Uh, but first, let's see, can we find Copperpot's mother? See, can we lure her down? <sighs> okay, Good mo well, I'm back again. We have managed to um, lure Copperpot's mother uh, down from the trees. Stop, <laughs> stop that Copperpot. <laughs> oh, she's glad to see him. <laughs> Mom. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, let's have that little prayer poem about those that we can't see in our lives who we really miss, like Copperpot misses his mother. I do. <laughs> okay, so the glasses are on because I have a little prayer poem over here. I can see it. I know you can, yes. And today's prayer poem is about all those people that we love so much and they're tucked safely away. And it's hard. It really is hard when you love somebody like your granny or somebody known to you who's elderly and you can't see them or actually give them a big squeeze at, the, at this present time. I love a hug. I know you do, yes. So here's a little prayer poem for them. And let's see how it goes. Will you help me with it? Sure. Okay, thank you. Sometimes I get to thinking things like, Spider's webs and blackbird's wings. Very good. And ice cream cones. And worms and snakes. And jelly. Crisps. And creamy cakes. Yeah. And sometimes I get to feeling sad. Sometimes just a little bad. Because in among the paints and glue, 
I very often think of you. I know you're older than I am. I often think of you and Jam. But Jam is better when you're here. And how I wish that you were near. But as I think of grass and hay, I know you're safely tucked away. And I love you. And you love me. And that's the way it has to be. I stay at home apart for you, from you, to keep you safe by what I do. And so for now we are apart, but we're together in my heart. Well, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, or good evening. What time of day? Well, then. Okay, well, I'm back again. We have managed to um, lure Copperpot's mother uh, down from the trees. Stop, stop that, Copperpot. Mom! Sorry, just sorry. Let's have a little prayer poem about those. <laughs> Sam. Shh. She does. She doesn't have many words. Okay, well. She has some. Hello. Hello. 